Climate group Round Our Way say global warming is putting our kids' education at risk as classrooms are apparently worryingly hot. Now, sensors were placed in seven schools across England, which recorded temperatures of 26 degrees. Now, Smother, I'm joining us now, senior meteorologist and yeah. at British Weather Services, Jim Dale. Uh, Jim, so, so, so talk us through this, this concern about these, these hot classrooms. Okay, so uh, this stems from uh, what we've seen in the, la in the last three days, to be honest with you. This is globally speaking rather than necessarily UK speaking, but there's a, you know, when we get in the mix, it, it, it goes in that direction. Mm -hmm. We've seen three days uh, so far where the London area, for example, has, 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 has surpassed 30 degrees C. Uh, we've got a fourth one coming on Tuesday, just for a, a bit of notice, a bit of forward notice for, for listeners. Um, and when it gets to that sort of temperature, remember in our classrooms we don't have air conditioning. So, uh, you know, it, the way they're built, the structure around them just means it's intolerable to, to actually be in those classrooms. Now, how many times that happens in a year? You, you're quite right, probably not mm. that many, but it is accelerating based on what the Met has said in the last couple of days about the temperature profile moving upwards, uh, us exceeding 30 degrees C. As, as a sort of general sort of pattern going forward. So in other words, more days of 30 degrees C. And it doesn't have to get to 30. You know, when you get to plus 25, that's the sort of uh, conditions that is very hard to study, very hard. You know, you, 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 your mind process sort but, of goes but, but, down. But haven't they got air conditioning? I mean, I just think they have, haven't they got? And where are you, by the way? You look like you're somewhere hot. Are you somewhere nice and exotic? Yep. I, I'm, I can, I, you're a bit jealous of this one, but I can work anywhere in the world. I'm actually in uh, Phuket, in Thailand. Uh, um, and how, and, and, and how, did you, how did you get there? I swam all the way. You um, flew, didn't oh. you? On this yeah, gas guzzling... I, yeah, but, but when, when I, when I, when if I fly anywhere, and at the moment it's once a year, give or take, um, I, I pay back the carbon tax every single time, because that's what... what Hang on, Jim, what, what do you mean you pay back the carbon tax? What does that mean? Well, when you get on an aeroplane, you get the option of, of, of paying an extra bit to, to offset your carbon uh, footprint. Out. And what they do is the way. That's, well, you, you've, not, you've not crossed this, this path, but that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, you, you, so, you, you pay a couple of quid and somewhere elsewhere promises to plant some seeds and some trees that's somewhere, right? Or, or, or it, while not, you're chopping trees down not, for yeah. wind turbines. Well, that will, do, that, will, that will depend on the company themselves and how they do it, but it, it, it to be what it is. No, you're la laughing at it. That's what it's there for, so that they... And it's called, by the way, that, that kind of thing is called passive greening. That's exactly what we need to take the cities and the towns that we've got and other parts of the world have got into an passive, area where... Passive for example, if you, Jim, Jim you know, can, I, can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Just um, in March, you came on GB News Breakfast and you said that... April onwards, this summer in Britain, was going to be, uh, I think it was ter terrifyingly hot, I think. Let's take a, a quick look at what you said. So next ex expectation is we get into, to, we're, we're going to see a, a switch change. Come April, watch it, OK? I'll say it on this programme now. We will see hot weather start to, to bake in during the course of April and at times in the summertime. We're not... We're not divorced from what's going on around the globe. And what's going on around the globe is quite frightening in terms of the temperature profiles. Jim, how do you expect the public to believe anything you say when you get it wrong so many times? Not just you, but all your climate well, alarmist cohorts. No, no, simply because I didn't get it wrong. Um, let, well, let's just let's talk about the April. No, 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 let, let me explain. So I was expecting the hit to be starting in April. It didn't mean it was going to continue mm. continuous all the summer. And I did say at times during summertime that we would get there. So the, the bit about April, you're quite right, that that, that, that missed us, it went into France and, and other places, Spain particularly and, and Greece, never made it to the UK. That's absolutely fair enough, it's a forecast. But as I've already said to you, we've three times we've seen 30 degrees uh, past, surpassing the UK, a fourth one about to rise. <clears throat> and look, just have a look around the globe at what's going on. We've just we've just had now three days in a row, Sunday, mm. Monday, Tuesday, mm. that surpassed the global heat record uh, of all time. So so this is not fake. It's not imaginary. Well, you no, guys no, need no. To... no, no, no. Uh, well, I do hear you, but um, globally, uh, cold deaths are nine times higher than heat-related ones. So you, I don't hear you going on uh -huh. with the same vigour about cold. Well, cold kills more well, people explain. than heat. No, it doesn't. Yes, so let it me does. explain why. It doesn't. Now, let me explain why. Because when there's a death by heat, for the most part, it's recorded as heart failure, stroke, and, and other symptoms other than putting heat on the on the death certificate. Cold is, is, is very different. Oh, they come on, cold. Jim. You're not, now you're a medical expert. That's, 
Seriously, I, two men have just actually said that, that heat deaths are actually accelerating at pace. Think about the Hajj march, for example, uh, only, only, only a month okay. or so ago, a thousand people dead there. Um, you know, these deaths are occurring, and not just deaths, but the floods, the wildfires in, in Canada of unprecedented levels this year and last year, the same sort of thing. Uh, a lot so of the graphs look, don't show much blinding. change in the amount of wildfires. Look, I, I, I'm hearing you, but I'm just concerned that you're not as, as sort of concerned with the fact that more people die of cold, and they do. You can't say that because it's recorded differently no, or there's something different. Sure. It's not true, Jim. I think your narrative is, is coming from, from that sort of um, drain pipe that's, that, that continually feeds the misinformation. Because that's basically what no, it no, is. No, no, it's from the worlddata.org. I'm reading it on the site. And no, it no, says, in, this in is the, the, past, the website. Well, yeah, in the past, you're right. Coal killed more than heat. Well, you've just changed now, your mind. No, it, it's, I'm talking about now. I'm talking about this last year or so. It, we, the, the, the climate change is accelerated. The heat is accelerated, which is why we're seeing the records of what we see. See this shirt. See this? The, you know mm. what this stands for? It's 200 years of, uh, uh, of, of the same thing we've been talking about, global temperatures. And you can see... Jim, that, 200 this, years of data is nothing in the grand scheme of the history of the Earth. It's but, like taking a, a one-minute chart from stocks and seeing what a stock has done over the past and, one minute. You've had a bit of a pump, yeah, the stock's risen yeah, high, yeah, yeah, and people saying, oh, my gosh, look how well this stock's performing. Look at it properly you, over the course of... of well, 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 he would argue that he is, but Jim, can I just not, say something you just said there? Snippet. You said, so, in the past, cold had killed, but because of this year, or the year before, now the thing has changed. I mean, again, alluding to his point, you look over a long period of time, and the reality is that cold kills more people than heat, and I, my thoughts are, why don't you talk more about that? OK. So we, well, I, look, it's not a race to the bottom, that, eh? whether they get, they're killed by cold, and by the way, global warming, if you like, also constitutes a, a thing called chaos, where you do get zones of very cold, intense weather. So I, I don't want to argue about whether or not cold or hot is the, is the biggest no, killer. of course it's you don't. Cold. And they're both, no, it's not a case of that. They're both kill, they're both extremes that we need to avoid. I'm going to give you three uh, words here. Okay, go education. Go. You need a lot of education in terms of educating people to climate change, what's going on. The, the debate that we're having now is a good good debate. It's a, it's a really good debate. We need more of it. We're running out of time. What's the thing? Education, it's like a one. One last thing. Adaptation. We need to adapt. I'm sure you'd agree well, to that. Well, I, whether I, I agree with you, and I think we do adapt. We adapt probably better towards if it's too cold, uh, we can heat things up. If it's too hot, we can cool things down. And I think that is the answer. Jim Dale, sorry about that. We are running out of time. We've got to okay, move on. And, Thank you. And can I just say, you know, uh, respect to Jim for his passion. Yeah. I'm not on board with it at all. But when you're dialing in from Thailand He's to warn that. everyone about the, the climate emergency We've that's coming, his carbon, then. if your that, that <laughs> scam. if your house if your house was burning down and Earth has a few years left to, to, to go, you would not be getting on a plane going to Thailand. You wouldn't go back into your house I, I just, to, to grab I a just think it's highly to grab a cigarette if your house. I think burning. it's highly you just wouldn't do it. to, to, to do that. But he's not here to defend himself right now. He was earlier. Right. Uh, uh, let's